good morning students yesterday we see about the topic input devices mm, today we will discuss about, about the topic output devices this is the objectives in output devices first one is monitor second one is plotter third one is printers and its types fourth one is speakers last one is multimedia projectors the first one is monitor monitor is a basic output devices and it give soft copy output monitor is also one of the important part of computer because without monitor we cannot see anything so that is the, the is the standard output device it is also known as screen display video display or video screen it looks like a tv pixels on a monitor are formed with pixels elements called pixels there are many types of monitors available such as crt lcd and led crt is a cathode ray tube lcd is liquid crystal display and led is light emitting diodes the monitor works with the vga card vga means video graphics array the first computer monitor was part of the Xerox Alto computer system which was released on March 1, 1973. See the diagram. This is the first computer monitor. The next one is plotter. Plotter is an one of the output ways that is used to produce graphical output and papers. It uses single color or multicolor pens to draw pictures. The plotter means nowadays we see about the flex printer like, like that. Next one is printers. Printers are used to print the information on papers. It takes the electronic data stored on a computer or other device and generates a hard copy of it. Printers are one of the most popular computer peripherals and are commonly used to print text and photos. In the printer, there are two types of printers are used. One is impact printer and non-impact printers. Impact printer is dot matrix printer. See the diagram. This is the dot matrix printer. And non-impact printers a laser printer, inkjet printer, thermal printer. There are three types of non-impact printers. This is the faster, cost effective and quality. Non-impact printers is like, this is, this is, see the diagram, this is the inkjet printers. This is the laser printer. And finally, the advanced one is 3D printer. See the diagram. This is the Make 3D printer. Next, we will briefly see about the printers. Impact printers. These printers print with striking of harmless or pins on ribbon. These printers can print on multi part using carbon purpose by using mechanical pressure. For example, dot matrix printers and line matrix printers and impact printers. Let's see the diagram. This is the impact. A printer like a, the dot matrix printer this printer using a fixed number of pins or wires each dot is protected by a tiny metal rod also called a wire or pin which is by the which works by the power of tiny electromagnet or solenoid the printers one line of text at the time the printing speed of these printers varies from 30 to 1550 cps cps mean character per second the next is non-impact printers these printers do not use striking mechanism for printing they use electrostatic or laser technology quality and speed of these printers are better than impact printers for example laser printers inkjet printers or other non-impact printers the laser printer laser printers mostly work with similar technology used by photocopies it makes a laser beam scan back and for the grass a drum inside the printer building up a pattern it can provide every good quality of graphic image uh, the dpi dpi means dots per inch one of the chief characters of laser printer in the re in their resolution is how many dots per inch the available resolution range around 1200 dpi so approximately it can print 100 pages per minute next is inkjet printers use color cartridges which combine the magenta, yellow and cyan inks to create color tones. 
A block cartridge is also used for monochrome output. Ink jet printers work by spraying ionized ink at a sheet of paper. The speed of inkjet printers range from 1 to 20 ppm. The ppm means page per minute. The next one is speakers. Speakers produce voice output. Using speaker along with speech synthesis software, the computer can provide voice output. A computer speak is an output hardware device that connects to a computer to generate sound. The signal used to produce the sound that comes from a computer speaker is created by the computer's sound card. See the diagram. This is the speaker. The next last output devices is multimedia projectors. Multimedia projectors are used to produce computer output on a big screen. These are used to display the presentation in meeting halls or in classrooms. Like the see the picture. A projector is a device designed to take an image from a video source and project as faithfully as possible onto a screen or other surface. In the first chapter, last topic is booting of computer. So what is booting? When we start our computer, then there is an operation which is performed automatically by the computer which is also called as booting. An operating system is a basic software that makes the computer to work. When a computer is switched on, there is no information in its RAM. At the same time, in ROM, the pre-written program called POST. POST is a short form. So POST means power on self-test will be executed first. POST is stand for power on slip test when the computer is turned on it checks the working of component the first step in booting is execution of BIOS BIOS is basic input output system these are the instruction loaded into ROM when the computer is begins if BIOS encounters any problem it display an error message or give the beep sound there are two types of bootings are used one is cold booting and another one is warm booting Cold boot, the process of starting the computer system or operating system very fast time. Warm boot, the of restarting the computer system or operating system. Difference between cold and warm boot. Cold boot reset all components that turn on them. Warm boot does not reset the hard drive but restore other components. Cold boot execute the post. Warm boot usually skip out the post. Post means power and self test. Cold boot clear the memory. Warm boot does not clear the memory. So cold boot take more times for its completion. Warm boot take less time for its completion. So this is uh, booting of computers. So the first chapter is over. Thank you students. Again go through the topics. Thank you.